Hey everybody, look on the screen. I'm going to call him Dusty Dan, the convicted murdering man. Let's take a look at this video. He's up for parole. I, my opinion, he shouldn't be let out. Let's take a look at this video. This will be part A. Please stick around for part B, the commentary. One of Houston's most headline grabbing killers is being considered for parole. George Goldberg has served half of his 45 year sentence. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from Southwest Houston with more. Randy. Yeah, Rossi, this wig shop in the 5300 block of Westland was the scene of a horrific crime committed by a then 19 year old Beller High grad and U of H student. You have a hole in your heart forever, forever. You have to live with this pain day in, day out. The only place these two sisters can visit their mother is the cemetery. Her grandkids have kids now that she's never met. Mm -hmm. I have a granddaughter named after my mother that she's never met and will never meet. November 27th, 1998, started out like any other day for 54-year-old Manuela Silverio. She was working at Wigs by Andre, a job she had held for 23 years. I just remember our world just turned upside down completely. A then 19-year-old George Goldberg slashed Manuela's throat. <sighs> he also stabbed the couple that owns the shop. They survived. He had planned this. I'd written this in a notebook five years prior an officer found this in in his uh his backpack he had written exactly exactly what he did a jury convicted goldberg in 2000 he's now 44 and he served half of his sentence which automatically makes him eligible for parole and then you're back with your parents no he had no remorse for what he did mm -hmm. he has never said he's done it goldberg has written two books while behind bars that are on amazon tdcj is aware and now investigating the little rich boy you know trying to get out of prison and you know he's the paralegal now so now he's got a job as long as i'm still alive and my sister's still with me we're, you know, we're gonna keep going we will never give up and when we're gone my kids will take over we are never going to give up on this. Now the parole board has until August to decide if Goldberg becomes a free man. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Part A. Please stick around for Part B, the commentary. Reporting live from the South.